Hey guys, I just got my Bofeng uh, UB5R repeater kit up and running. Wanted to run through it in case anybody else wanted to get a couple uh, cheap end um, uh, the UV5R Bofeng set up as a repeater. Uh, tried some of the links out there, none of them work, so I had to kind of uh, go old school and just figure it out myself. But I wanted to share this in case anybody else wanted to try and do the same thing. So. The kit consists of a couple of Bofangs in here that I'm using as a repeater, and then my radio and a buddy's radio so that we know uh, what stations we already need to be on. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll start by putting the information together on my, my radio and my buddy's radio. So on my radio, I'm going to start with the RX at 147.520, that's on the top line, and then I'm going to have the TX at 147.120, which is plus 600. To get to the plus 600, you're going to hit menu 26, menu 000, 600, and menu. So, I'll actually show you that in action here. Um, let's leave that up there so you guys can kind of still see what it says so on here we're going to go to menu, menu. 26 and that's going to be the offset setting right there and then we're going to go menu again to open it offset frequency. and then we're going to go zero 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 six zero zero and then menu again confirm and that's going to set that and so now, if I hit exit and I go back to that number and I key that number right there, you're gonna see that number keys up to 147, 120 off of the 146, 520 where it's currently sitting. And there must be somebody sitting on the other end of that right now because it's blinking on me. So that's how you get your setup. Now your buddies is gonna be set up the exact same way. You're gonna go in and your buddy is gonna be set uh, looks like we got some traffic running across those. But your buddy's going to be set to the exact same thing. 146.520 on the top line. And then 147.120 for the bottom line, which is a plus 600. And you're just going to go menu 26, menu 000600. And then hit menu when you're done. And it'll save it to his as well. Now I've already set his. So if you take a look at his... Uh, it's 146, 520, but if I key it, the top goes to 147, 120, which is the transmit and receive. So what that means is these two radios right here, these two radios are both set to 146, 520 on the top line, as you can see right there, 146, 520, and then this one is at 146, 520. But if I try and talk to them, you'll see that they don't key each other. Well. <laughs> I have a repeater set up in there. But if I didn't have them set up, then they wouldn't talk to each other because they are not talking to 146.520. They're listening on 146.520. They're talking to the other line, which is 147.120. <laughs> hey. So now that I've got those set up, um, my box over here consists of a Pelican case two Bofang UV5Rs, two extended batteries. And the reason I have the extended batteries on it are because on the extended battery, on the extended battery, it has a hole here for the battery. That's why these are so long. It has a hole here so that I can put a charger into it to charge it. You can charge these while they're running. And so that's where this solar panel comes in. I've got both of my Bofangs coming out of the top of the case. And plugged into this um, this solar charger. Then the solar charger can hang on the outside of the case or wherever I need it to hang. So it's constantly getting power and powering these while it's hanging in a tree in the middle of nowhere. So that's where I get the two extended batteries. I also need two whip antennas, which are on top of the case. A solar charger, a crossover cable, and a mounting strap so that I can mount the box somewhere. So... Over here is my mounting strap. 
Here are my uh, whip antennas. They're tied down right now just because I don't have them extended. Um, but these are the 42 inchers, I believe. And then I've uh, I've got the battery the battery pack right here that comes off of the top. So now let's uh, let's kind of push all that stuff to the side and just open the battery box or open the the repeater box and see what's inside it. So I took a Pelican case and I just opened a Pelican case up, took the stuff out of the middle of the Pelican case and mounted those two in there. I sealed these and I sealed the hole where this comes out for my cable. And this bottom piece right here just stays in to keep them in place. One of these is a receive. So these are receiving from my handhelds over there. So that means they've got to be the 146 500 or 520. So if I key one of them, the first thing you're going to see when I key this one is this little green light over here light up because it picked it up there. Then through the crossover cable, you're going to see the TX light up as well. It actually, it actually is lighting up and then going back off because I'm not, I'm not doing any transmitting. But if I was actually transmitting like I am right now, you'll see it stay on. And that's what you saw right there, was as soon as I started sending data over, then it lit up and it started giving me that information as well. These are the little cables that go out and charge the devices. And the, the one thing I did notice while I was setting it all up is you had to play with it a little bit to get the volume set or your volumes wouldn't work right. Now in the kit itself, your RX is gonna be set to 146, 520. And that's all you do with that one. But you gotta do something different with the other one. With your TX for the transmitting, you need to set that up to be at 147, 120, but then you need to go in and set Vox to 10. And to set Vox to 10, you hit menu, four, menu, type in 10, and hit menu again. And that's gonna set your menu. And once you've got all that done, you're good to go. Now, the only other thing that, that was vexing me and that it took me a while to figure out was this. It's the crossover cable. The crossover cable, if it has a ground in it, it will constantly turn your TX on and it will always be on and you won't be able to turn it off. So you're gonna need to get a two wire only extender cable and it's gonna have to be a 2.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable. Then you're gonna need to cross it over. You're gonna need to have either one cable with those in it, or like I did, you can buy two cables, two uh, pigtail cables, and build your own cable out of it, and then set one of them, um, set the red to black and the black to red. So you're actually making a crossover cable. So here is the wiring for that crossover cable. As you can see, I just, I took the black to the red and the red to the black on that. I left it open like this so that I could do the video and show you guys um, how I connected it. I actually bought these pigtails separate. So I bought two, two of the smaller ones and two of the bigger ones, and then I just connected the ends because they were never connected to begin with. Um, they do make a cutover cable for this uh, setup, but I figured I'd just make my own cable because it was taking forever for that other cable to get in. Once you've got these put together, you can um, um, solder them, uh, shrink wrap them, whatever you want to do to put them away. One thing I wanted to get that I couldn't find was 90 degree elbows so that these would be bent instead of straight. Uh, that's why they're kind of canny corner into the box here. But they work fine when I, uh, when I turn, when I just push this in a little and then I can close the box and it's good to go. That's it. That's the whole setup. Um, let's do a test just to show you guys that it's actually working and that, and that the actual setup does what the setup is supposed to do. Let's see if I can stand this guy up right here. Test one, test one, test one. You can see those light up. Now I'm going to give a little volume to this one and just leave that one right there too so you can see all three of them light up when I key this one in. 
Test one, test, test, test one, test one. Test one, test, test, test one. Test one, coming in, test, test, test one. So you could actually hear that coming in and playing off of that other device as it was sitting right there. Um, conversely, if I do it back onto that one, test one, test, test, test one, test one, test one, test, test one. You can actually hear it coming back in and playing across that one as well. So there you go. That is the setup for the Bofang. Uh, it's a simple little setup, but once you get it all put together, you can go hang that in a tree somewhere and you're definitely gonna have a, a good little kit set up that you can take with you and it's, uh, it's gonna be able to get you further out than you were before. Thanks for watching.